Hello folks, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really, really well. I'm just popping in here quickly before the footage begins to give a little bit of context. So back in December, I did a bit of a mishmash style video of a bunch of clips that I had from throughout December. Hitter patter that you hear is Bingley. Of some clips that I had throughout December that didn't really fit any particular video that I was planning. And some people really seemed to like it. And for me, it was a really fun way to compile some clips that I wanted to post but didn't know, didn't quite know where they fit. So that's what this video is going to be. So I hope you enjoy. If you like this style of video, definitely let me know down in the comments or by giving the video a like and I'll do more in the future when I have enough clips to make a video like this. It has been a while since the voiceover version of myself has made an appearance, so I thought that it would be fun to do a little voiceover of Eve's first time tackless. So we started out bareback in a halter and lead rope and just did some walk trot working on bending and her reacting to pressure against her neck as a turning cue as well as listening to my seat aids. Now I haven't done as much neck rope prep with her as I had done with Merlin but I find each horse is an individual and with her she tends to get a little bit confused when there are mixed signals like reins no matter how loose and a neck rope competing for attention. And I must admit that when I got on her neck rope steering was slightly atrocious but it improved a lot throughout the session and I felt like she really started to gain an understanding of what I was asking her. Now I will say the next time that I do it I'll probably use a different neck rope. What I did this time was just to take the lead rope that I had been using as reins which is a very long lead rope and then I wrapped it like twice around her neck and then clipped it together at the end and it worked okay but I think it was just too wide of a space of pressure against her neck so if I go back to using the one that I used with Merlin it's slightly more clear in its aids. And as you can see all I really worked on was her steering. She did not care and was not anxious at all about me being up there with no tack, which is really interesting to me because racehorses tend to require a lot of reassurance and support, but I guess this is just me providing her that in a different way. And I will just add another note that I definitely wouldn't have been able to do this even three months ago. Our kind of, for lack of a better word, bond and level of trust in each other has deepened and strengthened a lot since then. And as a result, we can do things that I wouldn't have even fathomed last year. Now this is something that I haven't talked that much about, but Merlin has actually gotten to a point where he free lunges as, like if I stand in the middle and hold the lunge whip and, you know, use the same vocal cues and kind of stand and follow him as though I'm lunging him, he just goes on his own without needing a lunge line. And this is one of those things that I accidentally shaped while doing positive reinforcement and then once I realized that he was offering it, I then rushed to continue shaping it deliberately as a way of capturing and maintaining that behavior so now it's something that he does. I never intended to teach it and I definitely will not be doing one of my positive reinforcement talk through behavior videos um, but it's definitely something now that I really appreciate as a skill that he has. Now back to the actual footage that you're watching so tonight was just a night for tackless riding and I decided to do the same thing with Merlin that I did with Eve so this was his I want to say third or fourth time tackless and although his response 
responses to neck rope cues weren't as quick as they were in, I think the last time I did it was in October. He definitely still remembered and improved throughout the session, which is all I can really ask for. My main goal for him for tackless for this summer, I guess, is to be able to do walk, trot, canter and kind of ride just like I would with tack. But considering that I haven't even cantered him bridleless yet with my saddle, it's going to be a while and a lot of work before I feel comfortable asking him to do anything but walk, trot. Like I have this vision of me taking him on bridleless and tackless hacks eventually, but I don't know if I'm skilled enough as an amateur trainer to get him there, but we will see what happens. And that's not me being modest or fishing for compliments either, although I have started horses under saddle in the past. He's the first one I've ever done any proper tackless work like this with, and I just simply don't know. Careful. But I will say that doing stuff like this, riding bareback and bitless outside for the first time, is also another positive step towards eventually being able to do, if not tackless, then bridleless hacks. Lead change?
the hand just lift it. Or lift? Yeah, sure. Wow. So I hope you enjoyed that random mishmash of clips. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, comment down below, and hit subscribe if you want to see more. Consider checking out some of my other videos. And until next time, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Bye.